What's going on guys? And today I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can edit with Filmera. So be fair we edit be fair we start editing with Filmera. I'm gonna teach you how to do the dissolve effect first. Basically we need to install Filmera. How do we install Filmera? Well you guys can click the link in the description which I would highly recommend you do. I mean it's not my link, but it's still a link. Install it. I highly recommend you click the link in the description. It's going to lead you right to Filmera. <sighs> Basically, you're going to load up your web browser, whatever it is. I, I use Opera GX. You guys might use Google Chrome. You guys might use the normal app. Heck, you guys might use Firefox. Probably not. So. We're gonna now look up Phil Mara X. Currently, the newest version of Phil Mara is Wondershare Phil Mara X. X. <coughs> X. Wondershare Phil Mara X. Leave the link in the description. It's filmera.wondershare.net slash filmera video editor hyphen software dot html. You're just going to click free download. Now it could be filmera 11. It depends on the time you're watching this video. Now you have the Mac and the Windows version. It's highly suggested on Mac because it's better on Mac. And I have a Mac, as you guys know, it's a Mac I'm using. And now it's just going to download right now. Now it's going to be down here. Just going to click that. Just going to click on the film I download. And wait for it to open. Now that it's open, it's going to make you agree to an end user license agreement. Blah blah. You really don't have to read this, just I just scroll all the way down. Now it's gonna be simple. It's actually a pretty easy setup. Just wait a little bit. Now it's gonna ask you to double click this to install Filmera, so just double click it. Just click open. This does not have malicious software. It's, it's trusted. Now just wait for it to download. It shouldn't take that long. But let's just skip the download. Alright, so now that it's installed, now we need footage. Which we already have. I think. It's photo booth. Alright, so you're gonna open up your video app. You need footage. You need footage. You need footage to do this. Erase a human out of existence. Like erase, 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 erase effect. So while you're doing this, you can be on TikTok. I was on TikTok while I was waiting for it to download, but. Uh. Ready. Now every single time you open, you can get that, blah, blah. But now that we're here, we need to open up Photo Booth. And whatever camera app you're using, recorded some footage. I already have some footage recorded, so it's perfect for this. You're just going to open up your camera app, whatever you're using. You can be using QuickTime. This is better on a Mac, and I'm using a Mac, so Filmer is a lot better on Mac than it is on Windows, since it's easier to edit on Mac than it is on Windows, because the power of editing. 
Alright, so you're just going to put in the Eclipse. For me, these clips are pretty bad and really cringy. Just wait for them to load now. It might take a while to load. Now that we have our first clip inputted, let's just now input the second clip, which shouldn't, which should even be easier than inputting the first one. You already told it what resolution you want. Mm -hmm. Now we now we have two clips. Make sure the first one is actually first. I don't know why the second one is not second. Make sure the first is first, and then the second is second. Now you're gonna have a video like this. This is me. Now you can go up here to transitions. Now you gotta find a race. So basically, we would just wanna find it in basic. It should be in basic. Uh, you can use this transition, which I would also recommend using. The shape transition. <laughs> now it's basically just going to erase you out of existence just like that. There's multiple transitions here, blah, 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 which I'm going to delete that one, and I'm going to use a ton of different ones. We can also use this one, which is the original erase one, I believe. So now we should have a clip that looks like this. And it just erases you out of existence, kind of like that. And it's really easy to do. You don't need any keyframing or anything like that. It's just pretty much simple to do and really easy, to be honest. Now, let's record a clip of us reappearing out of nowhere. So, now I'm going to start cutting again. And photo booth crash. Which is a little bit awkward. That photo booth trashed. Because apparently, photo booth said it was never gonna give me up and never gonna run around and never gonna let me down and desert me, so. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where was I? Now that we have our amazing footage created, now we can just input it back into Where the camera. Where did I go? Where was I? If this would unfreeze, photo booth is frozen. Photo booth is gonna crash again. Photo booth isn't really reliable since photo booth does crash like a lot, and for some reason it keeps putting it in the opposite position. I want it. <laughs> and that did not work well because Homer is being very stupid. And it's creating duplicate clips. So I'm just going to do this transition. So now we have a little something that looks like this. <laughs> Now you can barely tell it's really a transition. Now we're just going to drag this into here, and now we're going to add another transition. This time it's going to be a different one. Maybe this one. 
So now it's gonna be me gone. Where did I go? And now it's gonna transition into that. And what you can do is you can use the same transition. I'm gonna use this one again. Now it should look a little something like this. Is what we have of the clip. Hmm. This is pretty. This is pretty. Now it's really simple and easy like that. It's just in padding transitions of transitions of transitions. It's really not that hard to understand and that had to do. Next, we are going to simply learn the demon effect. And to do the demon effect, it's really simple. Basically, what we're going to do is the demon effect is really simple and you can do it all in one video. So let's just delete the clips we have right now. Now we have no media. Now we're just going to record a video of me being normal. Like, let's say, listening to music or something. And then I turn all evil, so. Now I know it looks hard to do, but this is also a really simple effect that anybody can do at basically any time. Not like that. But basically what you can do is you can go click on a clip. You can click basically the go to the pet where it's all normal. Now the part where you actually want to turn evil, click this little button right here. And now it's going to split it up into two clips. Now basically what you can do on this clip is you're basically going to click adjust audio. Now turn the pitch all the way down. Now we're going to want to go to color. And we're going to want to turn everything all the way down. actually turn it all the way up so now it should look a little bit like this and now it's gonna look like this <sighs> and now you should have a video that simply looks like this And this is really cool for movies if you're making like a movie and there's going to be like a little demon effect thing. It's, you can just simply do this like this. Now I have done this in a few of my videos and I'm going to do it a lot more because I want to. And it's just really easy to do, and if you have many clips and you want one, if you have many parts of the video and you don't want the whole rest of the video to be the demon effect, you can just split it again from the pet, from the beginning of the demon effect to the end of the demon effect you want. So basically, let's say you have the rest of the video you don't want to become a demon, you can just click the split effect at the end of when you want the demon effect to end. So it doesn't affect the whole video. And it will only affect that one specific pet, giving you a perfect demon effect video like this. And the best part is you didn't even have to occur two clips. You did it all in one video. Unlike in... 
like maybe other editing softwares like Adobe After Effects where you'd have to create two clips to do the demon effect in Filmaya you only have to create one clip and you can also do a transition which there's a ton of transitions you can do I like using for the demon effect I like using some of the product display transition I like using some of the basic transitions and I really like using the shape transition 13 for the demon effect so it will completely look like this so it's like it wipes the red onto it as you can see just look at it And it just creates for a perfect demon effect video or anything like that. Alright. Next, let's move on to elements. So, let's say you want a little subscribe button on the screen like this. Like that. Well, Film I can do that. So basically, you're just going to look at your clip. Hey guys, make sure you guys subscribe because this subscribe button looks really cool. And you're just basically going to impart that into film. Hey guys, make sure you guys subscribe because this subscribe button looks really cool. And now you have basically just a basic video, which we always start off with. Hey guys, make sure you guys subscribe because this subscribe button looks really cool. Now I matched to media and doing so it actually like dropped frames and made the quality look a little bit worse since photo booth kind of sucks. No offense Apple but you did not a really good job at photo booth. You can go over here to elements and you're going to add the subscribe button. It should be in basic and you can just find the subscribe button. Usually it's going to be in social media though, so go on to social media and if you bought Filmer, you can probably use some other effects. You can probably use the follow one where it's like clicking on it. Currently, right now, we can stick with what we have, which we don't have really any good subscribe buttons. But you can just input a subscribe button. Now we have a little subscribe button on screen. Hey guys, make sure you guys subscribe because this subscribe button looks really cool. A, you can use another basic subscribe button, which is kind of an easier subscribe button, but it's like, you know, like, like, weird. You can just search elements and you can just search subscribe. And now you have all the subscribe buttons, but you can also use this subscribe button, which is the subscribe button I use for all my videos because I think this one looks a lot cooler. And then you can also do a little notification bell to go right near it by putting that in right there. But you don't have to do the notification bell because the subscribe button already has it, so we can just delete that. Delete, and now we have this. Hey guys, make sure you guys subscribe because this subscribe button looks really cool. And it does look really cool, you're not lying. Hey guys. And it's basically, this has been a feature since Filmaya 9, so this is not restricted to Filmaya X if you only have Filmaya 9. I would recommend upgrading to Filmaya X. Because it's available on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and Mac OS above 10.12, I think. 
So, if you have the newest version of Mac OS, if you have the newest version of Windows, then you can basically install the newest version, which has some uh, features like motion tracking, which I will get into in a minute. Let's get into motion tracking right now. Alright, so motion tracking. Let's talk about this. Everybody knows what motion tracking is. It should be simple at this point. You will create a video, and then it's going to track movement on your body. Basically, here's what I can do. So, I'm going to just create a video of me moving my hand around. Like that, and I'm gonna input that yeah. into Filmera. This time, I'm gonna keep the project settings so it does not degrade in quality, but it's still photo booth. So, of course, the quality is gonna be it's gonna suck. So, now that we have that, we can click on this clip and we can click motion tracking. But you can actually have the subscribe button be motion tracked. Yes, I think. I don't know. Possible. I don't think we can have the subscribe button be motion tracked, but still, we can click on motion tracking. And now you click start tracking, and it's going to motion track the clip. Now select the clip to apply the motion. Now you can click the subscribe one. And now just watch this. And I threw it out of there. I threw the subscribe out of there. As you can yeah. tell, I just threw it. That's how cool motion yeah. tracking is. Watch, boom, it's gone. Like, like that's pretty cool. It's me waving my hand around, and I yeah. happen to hit a subscribe button because you guys should subscribe. You guys should hit that subscribe button, like I did yeah. in this clip. See what I did there? I'm clever. But still, motion tracking is a really cool and useful feature in Filmera X. Now let's get on to the easiest and overall the best feature of Filmera X. And it's probably the simple and easy black background feature. You can make a pretty cool possible leak video with Filmera X and it's this black background right here. Basically you know how leak videos always have those professional stuff and stuff with stuff. Well you can just search up nice backgrounds. Like they always have that really cool stuff. You're gonna find an image and you're just gonna insert it onto your desktop. So this is the image I want. Say, I want this image because this image looks really nice. So I'm just going to input that onto my desktop. Now you're basically just going to drag it onto your desktop. Not drag it onto your desktop, but drag it into Filmera. And now you have this beautiful little scene. And you can extend it as far as you want and then you can add the text effects which you're just going to look up basic and it should just be basic text I like using basic 3 and you can say something like subscribe and you can make the text color whatever you want and this is how it looks. 
You can make a cool leak video with this. It can look pretty cool. And it's just using the black background. It's just called the black background effects. That's what I like calling it. I like calling it black background. Because it will insert an image onto the black background. And you can create some pretty cool stuff with that image. Alright. Basically, here's the next basic thing that Filmair has to offer. That even tweaking you, even you, you can do. This is really easy. So let's say I want these headphones to disappear from my hands, just like that one guy on TikTok does. I can start recording a video and I can be like, Watch, I'm going to make these headphones disappear. <gasps> now I blow on them, and now I just... See? Look, they're gone. Now basically, all you really have to do is you just have to, like, really insert Watch. the clip. I'm going to make these headphones disappear. <gasps> Now it should be like this. Watch. I'm going to make these headphones disappear. <gasps> I'm going to put a clip here. See? Look. They're gone. <gasps> See? Look, and basically you can just do that. You can add a transition like that. But this is basically the most basic thing you can do on film air. You can have like magic and stuff See? like that. Look, they're gone. But I would like adding transitions and stuff, but this is the second transition pack it gives you called the shake it up pack. But, well, basically, these are the coolest transitions they have on Filmair. That's why they call them Shake It Up, because Shake It Up is associated with cool stuff. Watch. I'm going to make these headphones disappear. <gasps> See? Look, they're gone. But if you do a transition, people obviously tell that it's fake. So, basically, this is the easiest thing Filmair has, but it clearly looks fake. Right? You can mute the clips and stuff. Next, we also have the audio tab. Where basically you have a ton of songs you can implant into your videos and make the videos look amazing. So let's do flow free and and they're completely royalty free, so you can lower the volume. See, look, watch. I'm gonna make these headphones disappear. And it's that simple like that. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys want me to do a part 2 where I explain even my advanced features of Filmair, make sure you guys do comment, like, and subscribe, and goodbye!